morning passion fruits, it's your girl VH with another video. Emil Hede commented on my video, pet owls will they destroy your furniture and asked what Luki's screeching at 3 minutes and 35 seconds meant. He or she said, I don't know if Emil is a girl's name or a boy's name, I'm so sorry, I think it's a boy's name. Um, but anyway, he or she uh, said, First I thought it might be hungry, but its eyes aren't as narrow as in the owl mood video. What does it mean? So first, let me show you the footage Emil is talking about. You need to give it a small blanket or some kind of... Well, Emil, you were right. Luki was hungry. The reason her eyes weren't as narrow as in earlier videos was because one, she was sitting on my shoulder and we were doing a video together and that makes her more gentle, even if she's hungry, because she really enjoys those moments. Two, um, she wasn't actually truly hungry in that video. Yes. She just thought she was hungry. Okay, she is breeding me again. She just thought she was hungry. Lucky's pretty spoiled when it comes to food, um, so the moment I put her on a feeding schedule with a little less food, she'll become more screechy to get my attention. This is typical for owls in captivity. They'll associate their owner with food, so every time they see their owner, they'll screech for food. If this behavior becomes too exaggerated, it actually becomes a behavioral problem. And luckily, um, I don't have this behavioral problem with Luki, but I have had this problem in the past. The best thing you can do if this happens to you and your owl is to put your owl in a separate room and ignore it for a couple of hours every time it starts screeching frantically for food when it sees you. This is kind of a punishment like you would punish a puppy. Um, it's the only way to teach your owl that screeching for food won't help. It will cause the opposite. The reason this feels like a punishment to your owl is because owls who are used to being in your presence will hate it when you put them in a separate room and ignore it. They want to be with you and after a couple of times of doing this, they'll associate the punishment with, okay, if I screech for food, I'll get punished, so I'll just hold my horses and wait until my owner decides that it's feeding time. And this is how I um, reduced this behavioral problem with Luki. But that's not what this video is about. Here's the general rule. The more pissed off your owl is, the more narrow its eyes will get. So if your owl is screeching for food but it's actually not that hungry, um, it will screech for food but it won't have narrow eyes. If it becomes truly hungry, however, it will become slightly pissed off and the eyes will become more narrow. Now, please hold your horses before you say this is animal abuse, because it's not. In order to keep your owl healthy and provide it the possibility to train its muscles, you will have to make it hungry sometimes. It's actually animal abuse when you keep feeding your owl too much food because this way they will develop bumblefoot sooner or later. If you don't know this disease, I made a video about it, so I will link it in the description box down below. I have actually just started lowering Luki's food intake um, to be able to fly her in the garden again because it's spring. So right now she's going to be more screechy. The closer she'll get to her flying weight, the more frantic she'll become when she sees me and the more she'll screech. But it is necessary for her to be this hungry because otherwise she won't be motivated to fly and it's absolutely crucial for her health that she flies every day or at least almost every day. Owls in the wild also only fly when they're hungry or when they need to hunt to feed their offspring. If they're not hungry, they'll just sit in a tree and chillax. And don't worry, Loki is not starving. I would never do that to her. Actually, 
When an owl is at its flying weight, it's actually in the state it would be in if it were living in the wild. Luki just acts frantically when I lower her food intake because she's used to eating more than enough. That's cute and all, but I also have to be a responsible owl owner and take care of her health. So spoiling her isn't always the best thing for her, even if she thinks it is. Now I do admit that there are falconers who do starve their birds um, in order for them to perform better during a demonstration. It's easy to fly your bird in the garden, but it's a whole other thing when you have to do it in front of a large audience. The birds will get distracted more easily and they can experience a bit of stress because of all the people watching. Um, so yeah, in general, uh, birds of prey perform less in front of big audiences. And yeah, there are uh, falconers who will compensate for this by starving their birds. But not all falconers are this way. What's really sad in my opinion is that a lot of falconers who do this, who do starve their birds, get a lot of credit uh, for their performances because people don't know anything about falconry and so the people who are watching the show are like wow that falconer is being really good to his birds because otherwise the birds wouldn't fly that well for him they wouldn't come back every single time right and that's just not true things aren't always what they seem and that's something i find really sad like Amateur owl owners often get a lot of shit <laughs> for the fact that they own an owl in captivity um, when actually a lot of amateur owl owners are more responsible than professional falconers. I'm not saying this is always the case, but I mean, I mean it's not because you're a professional falconer that you're better. I mean, it's not because you're a professional falconer that you're better than an amateur owl owner. And I'm not saying that amateur owl owners are better than professional falconers. It's just, things are not always what they seem. And licenses, diplomas, status, don't say anything. So yeah, there are falconers who do starve their birds before uh, demonstrations and it's really sad because often birds fall dead from the sky because they just get a heart attack, because they are underfed and sometimes falconers even fly their birds when it's way too hot and they just think about the money and not about the birds. Anyway, this wasn't supposed to be a rant video about what's wrong with the falconry industry I will make a separate video on that though. I just want to say that there's a healthy balance. Your owl should be hungry most of the time, but there are levels of hungry, you know what I mean? Um, your owl shouldn't be at its full weight all of the time. It should only be at its full weight in winter to gain strength. And then after winter, you will slowly start to lower your owl's weight again so it can reach its flying weight so you can train with your owl again which is healthy for your owl. Yes. So to sum it up, Luki was hungry in that video uh, and the reason her eyes weren't as narrow as in earlier videos where I explained um, owl behavior was because she wasn't actually that hungry. She was just screeching to get my attention because she's a drama queen, like me. You ate the last piece of pie? Why? <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Just kidding, I'm not really like that. Most of the time. <laughs> I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!